So I have a question. Do you think the Earth is shaped like this? Round. Or flat. There's all kinds of ways it could be flat. In a sense, this is flat. I don't understand why this is a, such a big issue. Oh, flat earthers, oh my god. There's a conspiracy hiding flat earth. Like, both sides. I don't understand. Why do you care? In your daily life, the earth, the ground underneath your feet, apart from like valleys and mountains and streams and stuff like that, it is flat-ish. It's more or less flat. For everybody. For everybody's daily life. Even astronauts who have lived in the ISS for some period of time, the vast majority of their life, their daily life, is an experience that the Earth is flat. So this is a stupid argument. Right? Some, some random person on the street, it does not matter if the Earth is round or flat. Doesn't matter. Why are you arguing about this? Why is this an issue? And if I say that, you know, I think this is actually a proxy war. This is about, you know, it's about other things. Because the question of whether the Earth is a ball or whether it's a, it's a circle, a flat circle, or whatever other shape. No, it's an ellipsoid because the, the, the rotation of the Earth causes the equator to... Yeah, okay. So it's not a ball, it's not a sphere, it's slightly oblate, yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter to anybody, except for, unless you're like engineering GPS systems, or you're trying to nuke a country on the opposite side of the planet, it doesn't matter. Of the what, this is like billions of people that live on the planet, there's maybe a few hundred who actually need to know the real shape of the earth and you're not one of them I don't you shouldn't care about this you know what I think it actually is and I very confidently think this <laughs> it's it's a symbol of of your education it's a symbol of the tribe that you belong to. And like all tribes, well, like all religions, let me just put it, put it that way, like all religions, like all cults, you want to convert everybody to yours. That's what it's really about. Because that is, that's a fundamental human, you know, um, you look at somebody and you're like, okay, are you part of my group or are you the enemy? You know, and you grow up being taught, oh, you should, you should love everybody. You should, you know, respect and whatever. Everybody, everybody deserves to be here. Oh, okay. So it's really hard to look at somebody and be like, okay, you're my enemy. Just some random person. So probably I think what's happening in your head that you're not aware of because <laughs> you look at somebody, you're like, oh, okay. And you like, have a conversation. And then they're like, yeah, I think the earth is flat. And you're like, freak the hell out. You're not part of my group. And you just go batshit on them. That is a ridiculous behavior. And 
honestly, I, I really think that a lot of the growth of the Flat Earth movement is is satirical. Not all of it. Not all of it. For sure. Some people, you know, I do... See, you know, there's, there's plenty of people who do believe that the Earth is flat. But again, why do you care? Um, <laughs> but really... It's, it's kind of like the Satanist movement. Like, a lot of the things they do, they do just to stir up uh, devout Christians and stuff. Just to point out how ridiculous they are. I honestly, I think it would be a tragedy if there are not some, some flat earthers who are doing exactly that thing. Because the way that people are like, Oh, the earth is round! Oh my god, how could you be so stupid? Um, those people, they need to be satirized publicly. And the best way to do that is to get into these, oh no, but you know, here's proof that the earth is flat, and then they, you know, but the ISS, and then all this, and you get, you get like Neil deGrasse Tyson, oh, it's, this is an important topic. No, it's not. No. It is not an important topic. The shape of the earth does not matter to you. And you want to know a secret? If it actually does matter to you, if, it, if it's relevant to your job, what some rando on the street thinks about it doesn't matter to you or your job. This is not a debate worth having. Particularly since it's clearly a proxy war. You're, you're just saying, oh, but you need to be more educated. You need to be more like me. You need to believe in the things that I believe in. And I've seen people say, <laughs> you know, like, you go, on, you go on YouTube, you look for, for anti-flat earth videos, right? People bashing flat earthers. And it's all, it's all, you know, all of this evidence, like, oh, we're proving, we're proving that, that the earth is round. That's not what this is about. You're failing specifically because you don't actually understand what it is you're doing. You're making it worse, right? By, by being so dramatic with this, with this shit, <laughs> you're, you're basically, you're creating martyrs for this movement who, who it's just going to grow the movement. That's where the Flat Earth Movement came from. It's from you being an idiot. And, and recruiting your friends to also be idiots. You have a choice to not do this. You have a choice to, you know... <laughs> And, and I, one of the things that I hear, like, oh, well, but flat earthers, they're often also anti-vaxxers. Okay, so that's a public health thing. Why not just address the anti-vax? The shape of the earth has absolutely nothing to do with whether you should vaccinate your children. It's like saying, oh, you need to use the same shampoo that I do, otherwise you don't know how to drive right. Yeah, because I have a friend, and she's a really bad driver, and she uses a different shampoo than I do. Like, you're making a connection that ridiculous with this. Like, is the earth round? I mean, there's mountains, so, you know. That's round. That's not flat. I'm deliberately trying not to take sides on this one. I do have an opinion. I do, I do have a belief about the shape of the earth. But the point here is, it doesn't matter. I didn't go out and survey the entire planet. I don't know what shape it is. I don't care what shape it is. Right? I don't know exactly. Even like USGS. There's errors in that. And the fact that there's there's oceans and there's mountains and and there's the Grand Canyon and things like, like it's not a ball. 
It just isn't. And the rotation of the Earth, like the, the equator, it's not a ball. It's round. Well, but, I don't know. The peak of Mount Everest is pretty sharp. Right, like, you could come in with a stupid, like, debunking argument for anything. And it doesn't get you anywhere. You're not going to make progress on this. Well, you are. You're going you're gonna to progress the Flat Earth movement, criticizing Flat Earthers in this manner, because it's a stupid, like, it's, it's not a well-thought-out way to do this. You're not understanding what it is you're actually arguing against. You're not handling it correctly. And honestly, for the, the Flat Earthers who, who don't really believe it and they're just trolling, that's awesome. Good job.